The name is Roy Rogers McFreely. Nice to meet you. But you can just call me Mr. Baofeng because I've got so many of these Baofengs, I could wear them around my neck like a pearl necklace. That might have been a bad choice of words. Or was it? People are always asking me, how can I transmit further on my Baofeng UV5R? And I always try to explain, and sometimes they just can't get it, that how far you can talk depends more on the conditions that you're in, the, what is between you and the, your friend at the other end holding the other radio. The conditions between point A and point B really determine how far you can talk. Using one of these radios, I've been able to talk to another radio, exactly the same, stock antenna and everything, 13 miles away. But that was direct line of sight where I was up on a mountain and the other person was 13 miles away down below in the valley. But if there were trees or houses or hills or mountains in the way, I'd have been lucky if I could have gotten one mile or half a mile. So whatever is between you and the person, the conditions are really what's gonna determine how far you can talk on one of these radios. So I wanna go over just a couple of quick, easy, cheap, if not free things you can do to squeeze every little drop of performance juice out of your Baofeng cheap little piece of junk radio. But first, let's be very clear. Let's get this out up front, because if I don't, all of the self-appointed YouTube division of the FCC police will be falling over themselves to bang out on their keyboard that the Baofeng UV5R and similar radios are ham radios. In order to transmit on one of these radios legally, you must have a ham radio operator's license, and you may only transmit in the ham radio bands. Transmitting without a ham radio operator's license or transmitting on non-ham bands such as GMRS or FRS is highly illegal. If you want to learn a little bit more about how highly illegal it is to use these without a license or in different bands, according to the self-appointed YouTube division of the FCC police. Check out that video. But using this radio to transmit without a ham radio operator's license or on bands that are outside of uh, ham, such as GMRS or FRS, it's against the FCC rules. You can listen to whatever you want. If you can hear it on this radio, you can legally listen to it. Now, of course, I know you being the diligent YouTube viewer that you are, you probably already knew all of that. And I know that you probably just don't care. So the first thing that you want to do to squeeze the most transmitting juice out of this little radio is to use a better antenna. Now, better does not necessarily mean bigger. I've been saying that all my life. The antenna of choice generally is the Nagoya 771 antenna, and it is bigger. We all know it's not always about the size. What's more important with the antenna that you choose is that it is tuned properly to the band that you're using. So if you are legally transmitting on ham bands, you wanna make sure that you have a antenna that is tuned to work on those bands. So the Nagoya 771 works on the ham bands up to about 450 megahertz. If you choose to violate the law, and use your Baofeng UV5R on GMRS or FRS or FRS frequencies, you would want to use an antenna that's better tuned to those higher frequencies up in the 462 megahertz range. And Nagoya makes one, looks just like this. It's called the Nagoya 771G for GMRS, which is used for transmitting on GMRS bands. It's, it's just a slightly different length so that it's tuned to work better on those highly illegal GMRS bands when you're breaking the law with your UV5R on GMRS. The 771 and the 7071G, they're like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I will put links below. You can get them on Amazon or at uh, buy2wayradios.com. You do want to make sure that you don't get a, a uh, counterfeit one. There are counterfeit ones out there. 
uh, go to buy uh, buy two way com. They sell the real thing on Amazon. You're pressing your luck depending on what uh, vendor you get it from. The next thing you could try is adding a counterpoise. A counterpoise, and I will spell that for you in case you want to search for more information on it. A counterpoise is just a piece of wire cut to the right length and attached to any piece of metal on your radio, like you screw it into uh, one of the screws there. That will act as a ground plane and do some other RF frequency voodoo that I don't understand and I don't really give a shit, I don't care. But it, it can help increase your range. Now, some people will point out that a counterpoise is not necessary if you use the radio correctly. And by that, they mean holding the radio with your hand like you're supposed to and covering it and maybe touching one of the pieces of metal and holding it close to your, your face and your brain enclosure when transmitting. And in that case, they say that your head and brain and body will act as the counterpoise. So whether or not adding a counterpoise works, it can't hurt, right? It's a cheap piece of wire you probably got laying around in your garage. I could make a video on how long to cut it and how to attach it, but don't want to. The next thing, and I cannot believe I have to say this because I cannot believe how many people have one of these and have never read the fucking manual. It's, it's, it's shocking how many people I have to tell this. This radio has a high and low power setting. If you have a uh, BFF8HP, which this is, you can see there, slightly different model. It's uh, it's the 8 watt version of the UV5R. They're otherwise identical. It has three power levels. Blows my mind that people don't know this because they didn't read the you know what manual. So on the screen, you will see up at the top there, there's no letters. Now there's different letters. There's all kinds of things that show up on the screen. And of course, if you read the manual, you would know what they mean. And don't say, oh, I threw the manual away. It's available online. You can Google it. Stop making excuses for being lazy. And you can switch between high power and low power. Focus, piece of junk. By tapping the pound key. Now watch up at the, on the screen as I tap on the pound key, you will see, God damn it. It locked, I had to unlock it. Unlock. Now it's unlocked. You lock it, okay, so this might get confusing. To lock the radio, if it automatically locks and unlock it, you press and hold that little lock. pound key. Yeah, oh, bitch, you locked again. You see the, the little icon on that key is a, is a lock. Press and hold it to unlock it. Unlock. Okay, now watch on the screen at the top. You will see when I tap it, that little, what is it, L. Lock. No, you're locked, you stupid. So when L is showing, that's on low power. It's like half a watt. And tap it again, now it goes away, now it's on high power. If you're using the F8HP, which is the eight watt version, you'll see that it has three options up there. Low, medium, and high when you tap that button. So when you need every bit of transmitting distance juice that you can get, you wanna make sure that you tap that button and make sure that L is not being displayed. Now it's on high power. Now that is gonna suck down your battery a lot faster. It's the price you gotta pay, you want more power, thank you. If you're talking to somebody close by, you probably wanna keep it on low power most of the time because your battery is gonna last a lot longer. High power is supposed to be five watts, usually on these cheap little radios, it's closer to three and a half or four watts. But if you're trying to squeeze out every bit of distance, make sure it's on high power. You know, there's a lot of other features that this radio can do. And if you read the manual, you'd know that. The best thing you can do to get the most distance out of your UV5R is to use a repeater. Now, of course we know, I know that you know, but I'm gonna say it again, because if I don't, we all know what's gonna happen. You must have a ham radio operator's license to use a or access a ham radio repeater. And if you had that license, you probably know all of this already. The same goes with a GMRS repeater. There are also GMRS repeators, but as I mentioned, 
illegal to use this on GMRS, even if you have a license. I've made another video showing you how to enter the tones that you need to access a repeater. Watch that video there. Oh, and I've also got another video about what a repeater is. Check out that video. It explains what a repeater is and when you should and shouldn't use it. That video was, I was talking specifically about GMRS repeaters, but a ham repeater and a GMRS repeater are the same. They just operate on different frequencies and you need the different licenses to access them. Will adding a better, not necessarily bigger, but better antenna and putting on a counterpoise and holding the radio right and putting it on high power, will that double your range? Maybe. If you had it on low power and you had a crappy antenna and you switch it up to high power and put a better antenna on and throw a counterpoise on, yeah, you might double your range. But chances are you're probably already operating at close to the limit, the max of what this little radio can do. I'll put a link, if you don't already have one of these, I'll put a link down below. It is the most popular radio out there. I think Baofeng has sold more UV5Rs than all other handheld radio brands combined in this price range because there's basically no other radio in this price range. It's 30 bucks. So yeah, doing those things, you you will be getting the maximum amount out of this radio that you can get. And you really can't squeeze much more out of it. You want more out of it, you're out of luck. Go buy a better radio with more power. If you have questions, leave a comment below. If I'm not able to answer it, somebody else will come around and try to show everybody how smart they are and answer it. They'll probably get it wrong. Remember that stupid comments will be pinned to the top for everybody to enjoy. And I will probably call you out and reply as well. So think twice before posting a stupid comment because everybody's going to make fun of you. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the train.